If you were on the Facebook board right now, what would you be paying the most attention to? What would you sort of see as your responsibility given uh, the winds that it finds itself swept up in right now? Well, to be a good board member, you need to depend on management. And there has to be trust and there has to be transparency. And there hasn't been a lot of that because the report is that when the uh, Russian interference was presented to the board, management was angry. They didn't want the board to know. So that's a concern. And I think there's also a dynamic where you have a lot of power, where you have a brilliant founder who's the CEO, who's the chairman, and who has 60% voting control. Those are a little bit troublesome. So I think the board dynamic of trust and transparency is pretty critical to do the right oversight for the shareholders. Moselle, as somebody who was an advisor to the company some time back, of course, an FTC commissioner, the possibility of increased regulatory scrutiny certainly is one reason why perhaps investors are selling. What's your thought? Uh, is Facebook trying to sort of walk that fine line by doing the right thing, but also avoiding what may be coming in terms of the regulatory front? Well, I think one of their challenges is um, not focusing on the substance of fixing the problem that they have. There's, we've seen a lot of press lately about um, the problems they've gotten into with spin, whether it's getting involved in the, pol the politics of what happens on the Hill. That, I think, is, should be secondary. What their real focus should be is what's their relationship with their users, because those are the people who they have to prove they provide value to. And if you look at what's happening on the Hill, well, there, there is definitely a need for privacy le legislation. I called for that in 1999. But now we are in a different situation. You have companies who are incumbents, so you have to be very careful about what you're trying to legislate, because what you could inadvertently do is, is keep the incumbents entrenched and not create any playing field for other people to challenge them. I mean, I guess, you know, you say make sure you focus on the relationship with the users, Moselle, um, but don't, I mean, they built a self-service advertising platform. They mm -hmm. built this kind of free-for-all environment um, where they try and mitigate around the edges where they can on a reactive basis. I mean, do they have to tear it down and rebuild it to, to actually make sure that they have a safe enough platform that's going to forestall more strict regulation? Well, I don't really think it's a free-for-all. Um, one of the things that, that Senator Warner said was when he made comments about the wild, wild west. The internet hasn't been the wild west for a long time. And even back when I was a commissioner, I talked about this and saying that the laws that apply offline still apply online. The question is, how do you implement them? Okay, and we're looking at what the FTC does. I think that this is a place where Facebook needs to sharpen its pencil. It needs to be able to talk about how it essentially governs the advertising platform and to make that a little bit more transparent. I think that's very important for the users, but also the people who advertise on the platform. 